Another new thing is loader for FPX mode file and the FPX mode file is as you probably assuming a special mode file for the engine and the reason for doing that is because that mode file contains all information that are needed to the engine and it's loading much faster than for example MB2 or 3DS. Also I'm using a uh, free modding tool for a very long time I'm used to it. It's saving mods to the MDL7 and I have write a converter from the MDL7 to the FX model file so I can now easily convert those models and use them in the engine and I have made uh, one of the nicest demos since the first episode and third right now but anyway I will show it to you right now I was using uh, models combined with 32-bit bitmaps with alpha channels and in the end it looked just awesome so I hope that you will enjoy it it is not too long but it is definitely nice and here it is uh, to say in the beginning I didn't do the head I have downloaded it from the internet actually I have downloaded the whole model of the skinhead that was his name and I removed the body and leave only the head but the hair was done by me it's low poly model with 32 bit bitmap uh, used as a texture so you can see that this hair looks just amazing I mean it, it's contained from 600 triangles it's not much but for a fact like this it's amazing so that is it I don't I don't have so much to say about it but you can see how great it looks so I don't know I would just leave you to enjoy a few seconds in this I mean it's awesome I know that maybe sounds a little bit arrogant but I made this and it looks awesome oh my god it's beautiful just beautiful am I insane or what? also I have write a uh, saver to the windows bitmap file uh, b BMP file format of the 24-bit bitmaps I hope you know about it I mean you should if you are a windows user and except from that there is a screenshot or however would you like to call it a function that is enabling me to take a screenshot of the screen so why should I use a print screen on my keyboard when my engine can do it for me because I can now use any key to shut the screen there are tools for that but it's just nice when you have something like that in the engine it makes you feel proud you know you don't need to turn anything on you just press I don't know S and it makes screenshot for you if you program it in on key S anyway just enjoy it so I have run this beautiful demo for a second time it's just amazing. Uh, okay, I will use it to show you how the screen shutting option works. So I have set the path of saving of those screenshots to this empty folder. So I will now, once I press the key on the keyboard, the screenshot will be taken. So it will says here a new screenshot taken 
and let's try it for a few times. So I hope you did see it. And one more. And as you can see, three screenshots appeared. I just said that the name be generated by the number of the screenshot, but I can generate it uh, on any way I wish, for example date, time or something like that, so you see that it's working, there are no problems with it. So that's it. So that is pretty much it. New things about Viewer and Game Editor are coming in the next episode. If you like this, I hope you did, feel free to leave a comment or subscribe, it's totally free. So, see you soon.